Hello, 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 my friends. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for being a part of DM2 Ministry. Whatever capacity you played, I am so grateful to God for you. It is because of the God in you that we were able to even accomplish what it is that God has allowed us to accomplish. The things that he put in our spirit, despite COVID-19 and this current pandemic that we've had to deal with, which has caused all of us to have to be very um, adaptable. We've had to adapt. We've had to be creative. We've had to do so many things just so that the gospel message um, of Jesus Christ can yet remain uh, in effect and also be able to have what is so necessary in the times that we're in. Listen, so thank you so very much. Again, whether it be by prayer, whether it be by seed, whether it be by again sharing, Whatever you have done, I am so grateful to God for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. In light of that, here's the things that we've been able to accomplish this year. We've been graced to accomplish um, the Lord allowing us to, number one, have our own show, the Moment of with Mercer show, which is now featured on the Inspire Network. Where we have a host of guests and people from around the city and various areas to come in and share their background and areas of how they serve our communities in great capacities. It's because of those guests that I believe that we've had the testimonies that we've received, such as how that life has changed and encouraged and inspired and just feel the motivation that is necessary to live on the next level. We've been able to accomplish that. Also, we've been able to have and host a leadership uh, class where we talked about giftings and purpose. What is my actual calling? What is my actual gift? What has God really called me to? It is because of that uh, that I believe that we have some leaders now that are living on a greater level. That when they once walked in a, in a place where they just wasn't sure about what it is that God wanted them to do. It is because of that setting, the Lord meeting us there, not only with his presence, but with his teaching that we were able to grow, develop, and move on another level. Not only that, we've also been able to take leadership abroad into the city of Gainesville for about three months there, empowering every Saturday with leaders that would come from wherever they desire to come from, to just come and be planted in there to hear and take heed of what it is that God would have to say to each and every one of us. Um, that's been amazing. Also, we've been blessed to be able to feed the hungry um, for Thanksgiving. We've been able to bless families so that they can have the groceries that is necessary to be able to uh, feed their family. Because in light of this pandemic, everybody needs somebody to be there for them. And also, obviously for Christmas, blessing so many uh, that we can just to say, hey, you're not in this by yourself. Because ministry is not seeking to be served, but it's seeking to serve. And so because of that, because of you, um, I'm so grateful to God for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you so very much. There's a scripture that says that the, the sons of Issachar understood the times and they knew what to do. I'm a firm believer that it's in the strategy that oftentimes we can move into what it is that God is calling us to do. We don't have to stay stuck with where we are. There is a strategy that can get us to where God is calling us. By becoming a partner, here's what's amazing about it. You'll be able to also be a help to be a resource to those that are in the community in very area, various areas that's saying, I have a need. I have a need. And so it'll allow the gospel message of that we're sharing to be able to share it abroad so that we can be of a great effect and serve people in different capacities. Also, more families will be able to feed their care packages and things of that nature that we want to be able to put together for the homeless. There are people that are in really so much need, but it's because of you, your connection, your partner, your establishing with us that we'll be able to get this accomplished. What is it that you will be able to get out of this? Now, I'm glad you're asking. If you go ahead and if you want to be a part and inquire about it, there's a list of things that I can tell you that's going to be, it's going to be well worth it. And I promise you by connecting, not only will you be able to be a blessing, but I promise you, you will be blessed. Remember, it's not one of those normal gimmick things because remember, it's not about seeking to be served, but it's seeking to serve. And so that's the beauty and power of this is so that we can be able to be more of a greater resource to those around us. And I promise you, 
God is going to bless you in return. So if you're interested, you want to be a part of this, rather be not by way of just see, maybe by volunteer, things that we want to do, because we want to bless so many more people in the upcoming year. We want to be able to share this gospel abroad, but again, we also want to serve so many others. So here's what I want you to do. Inbox us. Just let me know I'm interested. And I'll tell you exactly what you need to do in order to connect. I thank you so very much. And you say, right now, man of God, I don't have it. Mm -mm. It's not about that. But I want you to take this opportunity to pray for us, support us, be a part of this next level that God is getting ready to release in our life. And I promise you, it's going to be well worth it. Thank you again. Continue to keep pushing, keep moving, stay motivated, and watch how God moves in our life. Until next time, I hope you have an incredible new year. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you.